Dear friends, for over 70 years, the Council of Europe has protected human rights, democracy and the rule of law. But we live in deeply troubled times. Our core values are under attack and democracy itself is being undermined throughout Europe and elsewhere. Some have said we are experiencing a worldwide recession in human rights and democracy. The Russian Federation's invasion of Ukraine was completely unacceptable. It was an assault not just on one country, but on the principles, the values that we share and are essential to peace. Dear friends, let us respond by standing united and firm in respect of the principles we share. Let us stand united in our ethics and our values and apply these across every aspect of our lives and redouble our efforts in promoting human rights in sports, as sport is a great multiplier. A sport brings people together like nothing else can. To quote the late, great Nelson Mandela, sport has the power to change the world. It has the power to inspire. It has the power to unite people in a way that little else does. But for people to maintain their faith in sports, they need to know that competition is underpinned by honesty, justice and fair play. We all have our place and role in the joint global efforts required to achieve that. And I'm sure that you will give many important and telling examples during this very important conference. By working together, governments and sports organizations and others, we can embed human rights even deeper. And we help meet the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals at the same time. We have specific treaties that are designed to help on anti-doping, on safety, security and service as major sports events and on the manipulation of sports competitions. Our group of states against corruption, Greco, advises national authorities throughout the world on how to stop violations and malpractice. And our joint partnership against corruption in sports, IPACS, brings together governments, intergovernmental and international sports organizations and others to help promote a culture of good governance. By these means and many more, we are pursuing crucial, if not vital, aims to help ensure sports for all and to help stop discrimination, racism, match fixing, doping and corruption in sports to play true. I can only wish you every success in your deliberations at this conference. And I hope you will be able to identify new and helpful initiatives that will safeguard and strengthen sport that we all love and cherish. Thank you very much for your attention.